We lift our voices to join the songs of heaven and earth of things seen and unseen. You stretched out the heavens like a tent. You divided the day from the night. You appointed times and seasons for work and rest, for tearing down and building up. You blessed your people through all generations and guided them in life and death. This is very much of a, a, a marvelous moment in, in the life of our work together as faith communities. From the book of Revelation that speaks of uh, the life-giving power both of water and uh, how the tree draws its life from the water. We read, Then the angel showed me the river of life-giving water, sparkling like crystal, flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb down the middle of its street. So I'm John Magnuson. I'm a Lutheran campus pastor and also director of the Student Tree Institute. I work with Carl Winters in the Watershed, the Watershed Partnership and the Faith Communities uh, and have been doing such for since 19, 2004. Right and so this is another step in uh, our interfaith work. One of the marvelous things that have come out of uh, our experience, I think, of working in the environment, it's brought us together. Um, this is really unprecedented that we have uh, come together around these very, what we call them, faith in the incarnation projects, where we found expression for our faith in very, very uh, hands-on kinds of commitments and projects. And obviously, the Earth Keeping Tree Project here in 2009 is one. On behalf of the uh, Lutheran community, we're delighted to be a part of Earth Keepers for many years now. This whole movement has focused on how the faith communities can work together to preserve and protect this great gift that we have here in the Upper Peninsula, this watershed, this wonderful combination of lakes and streams and trees everywhere, this great forest and, and all the places we have. Trees cover the earth. Trees are a part of the healing of the earth in many ways, and so our communities together are working here. I was in high school when we had the first Earth Day in April 1970, and uh, these Earth Days have brought me to different parts of the world, different places, and I'm delighted today to uh, represent the uh, Lutheran community and to be a part of the work that we here in the Upper Peninsula are doing together. In the name of God, as Venus has just said, that all of us are called to be stewards of, of God's creation. And no matter what faith tradition we come from, that responsibility lies with us, human creatures, those of us endowed with, with intelligence and with the ability to choose good and to avoid evil. Uh, we are, as human beings, in a unique position to be stewards of this great gift of God's creation. Uh, I grew up, quite honestly, in the desert southwest, and uh, we didn't see a lot of water, we didn't see the beauty of the forest and the trees, and when we first moved up to the Upper Peninsula when I was 17 years old, I truly thought that uh, I had entered paradise. Uh, and so I'm very honored, uh, representing my own tradition, to be here, because again, the tree, uh, represents so much in creation and, and certainly from the Christian tradition uh, we have just finished our celebration of the Paschal Mystery of Christ and uh, for us the, tr the cross is the tree of life uh, and these trees that we will bless and, and plant in, in the coming time uh, really also represent uh, God's gift of life to all of us so I'm very honored to be here and uh, we are very glad to be a part of the Earth Keepers and to join uh, very uh, important groups, very uh, groups with various uh, ways of doing things and looking at life, and, and uh, yet we come together for this important uh, task. I always look at planting a tree as a gift for the next generation, for the generation even beyond that, and we are going to be giving thousands of gifts for the generation to come. Uh, so I'm just glad that we can be a part of that. We consider ourselves very fortunate to be uh, participating uh, with Earth Keepers. We've been a member, I guess, since its, uh, since its inception. If we're going to accomplish anything, we need to come together.
Buddhists believe in uh, Buddha, Dharma, and Sangha. Those are the three refuges. Sangha is kind of the uh, community of practitioners. And I guess what we're trying to do now is widen that Sangha. It includes not only sentient beings, but, uh, but all beings. Uh, we will be planting 12,000 trees uh, over the next few weeks. And uh, the trees, in effect, will be planting us also. They are one thing. Uh, so anyway, we, we're glad to be a, be a part of this tradition. Um, about 100 years ago, Joyce Kilmer wrote this once famous poem that begins, I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree. How can words express the essence of trees? Trees which serve as long shelter, inspiration, comfort, and sustenance for other living beings. The earth, including her trees, is what we all share in common. I give thanks to the visionaries of the earth keepers for initiating this prophetic, co-creative, and common act of stewardship. It's truly a beautiful thing. Connection with and stewardship of the earth are central to Unitarian Universalism. This has been especially true since the influence of Unitarian Henry David Thoreau, who found the holy in nature and in all of creation. One of the seven principles of Unitarian Universalism is to affirm and promote respect for the interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part. Our principles also call us on us to promote the goal of the world community with peace, liberty, and justice for all. We also commit to accept the spiritual paths of others. Thus, the image of people of all ages and faiths across the Upper Peninsula, planting 12,000 trees in their respective sacred spaces, is a most beautiful and fitting one to us. If an image were a sound, it would be like a glorious interfaith choir singing to our pretty Nature in its essence is the embodiment of my name, the maker, the creator. Its manifestations are diverse by varying causes. And in its diversity, there are signs for men of discernment. Nature is God's will, and it is its expression in and through the contingent world. It is the dispensation of providence ordained by the ordainer. The all wise. With these words, Baha'u'llah, the prophet founder of the Baha'i faith, outlines the essential relationship between man and the environment. That the grandeur and diversity of the natural world are purposeful, purposeful reflections of the majesty and bounty of God. For Baha'is, there follows an implicit understanding that nature is to be respected and protected as a divine trust for which we are all answerable. Such a theme, of course, is not unique to the Baha'i faith. All the world's major religions make this fundamental connection between the Creator and His creation. How could it be otherwise? And how great it is that we in this beautiful community of Marquette, in these very beautiful surroundings, get to celebrate together with our friends colleagues and our co-religionists in various faith traditions, the saving and celebrating of God's creation. I just want to say that the, the staff at the Watershed Partnership, uh, the biologists and educators and planners, uh, we're proud to have helped form Earth Keepers and been uh, with it all five years, all five record-breaking events. Um, Earthkeeper goes beyond the UP. Uh, it's throughout the Great Lakes states now. We're having kind of a ripple effect. People are replicating the work that uh, the Earthkeepers have done here, kind of patterning uh, their events after some of the successful programs we've had here. Uh, again, the Superior Watershed Partnership is just happy to be part of this. Thanks. Hi, my name is Kathy Lenton, and I'm here with James representing the Diocese of Northern Michigan, the Episcopal Diocese.
Um, our bishop, the late Jim Kelsey, was a part of the inception of the Earth Keepers, and it was one of his greatest successes, I feel. Um, he was very interested and very active in the group. Um, our diocese has kind of been in a type of dormancy since his death in a car accident two years ago. So we see this as a very fitting way to groom ourselves by the planting of these trees. And um, we look forward to this journey that he started and will continue. Um, I'm Jill Martin. I am a member and an elder of First Presbyterian Church in Escanaba. And, but foremost, I'm a child of God, and like any child, I'm looking forward to planting trees. Thank you, all of you, again, for coming. Kira has a, a poster to send to uh, those representing parishes and diocese offices here. So please uh, mount this near your uh, desk or uh, on your office door so we can lift this up in the coming, coming weeks.